Welcome to News You Can Use. It's your girl Dev, in for Brandon today. Today, we're speaking to a man from Mississauga whose Apple Watch saved his life. Now, before we get into all those details, I need you guys to do a couple of things, like subscribing to this channel, tapping that notification bell, and making sure to follow us on all of our social media. Those details are in the description below. Tor Baker says he was laying at home, scrolling through social media like so many of us do late at night, when his Apple Watch alerted him that his heart rate was a lot higher than normal. He called 911, and when he was taken to the hospital, doctors told him that his Apple Watch had actually saved his life. He's here today to tell us all about it. Let's bring him in. Tor Baker, thank you so much for joining us on News You Can Use. Thank you. I'm glad to have you here. Why don't we talk a little bit about your story? So your Apple Watch saved your life. Yes. How, how does that even happen? So um, three o'clock in the morning, for some reason I woke up and- um, I'm Sorry, when was this? December 13th. Okay. I was sitting there looking at my cell phone, looking at Instagram videos and and about five minutes later, my watch tapped me on my wrist. And when I read it, it said my heart rate's at 129 beats per minute rest. Okay, so at, how what should your heart rate be at, like typically at rest? Between 60 to 100. Okay, so 129 is really high. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what happened? I thought to myself, maybe it's because my foot's on the arm rest and all my blood is rushing to my heart. So maybe I should sit up and take some deep breaths. And I checked my heart rate and I did about five heart rate checks and it's told me I was my heart rate was between 140 to 145. Wow so mm. how are you feeling at this point physically? Fine no pain nothing. Didn't feel like your heart was racing or nothing. anything? Mm -hmm. So then what did you do from that point? So then there's an ECG on the watch and I and I did an ECG check and it told me that I am AFib and my heart rate's at 145 now that I'm sitting up and uh, if my heart rate continues at a high, at this high, I should contact um, my doctor. So it's three o'clock in the morning, I didn't know what to do, so I called 911 and I said, listen, I don't know if this is an emergency or anything. And I explained to them what happened and they said, okay, we're gonna put you over to ambulance. I explained to the ambulance um, exactly what's going on. They asked me three questions. Okay. Are you confused? Um, is your chest hurting? And are you feeling sweaty? And I said, nope, 100% fine. And they said, okay, we're calling, a, we're sending an ambulance over. Paramedics came, I explained to them the same thing. And uh, they told me, oh, the Apple Watch is new technology. It's not 100% accurate. We got our own ECG machine that will give us a readout. And they ran an ECG on me and uh, it came back high. Then they talked to me for about five minutes and then they ran another ECG on me and it was still remaining high. So they decided to take me over to the, the hospital by Jada Major Mac. They take you to the hospital mm -hmm. and you're still feeling okay at this point? Yep, nope. no no pain, nothing. I'm in the hospital for about seven hours. They did a, first thing they did was uh, blood blood work, x-rays to my chest. Um, I, was, my, I was low on magnesium. So they gave me magnesium through IV blood thinners and uh, the doctor came in shortly after and said, okay, we're gonna release you, um, give you an appointment with, with a cardiologist. And, but before we do that, we're gonna give you more medication to, to lower your heart rate. A nurse came in, administered the, uh, the, the, the medication and about 15 minutes later, my heart rate went up to 156. Were you scared? I was terrified, I'm watching the computers beep and everything. Yeah. Didn't know what was gonna happen. And then uh, the emergency doctor came in shortly after again and told me that uh, I'm not going anywhere. They're gonna take me upstairs. Okay, so they take you upstairs, they admit you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And physically, so mentally you're scared, but physically, how are you feeling now? I know I keep asking, but. Not feeling nothing, there's no pain. Okay. Yeah. So now that you're admitted, what happens? I was there for several hours. Again, they're doing a lot of uh, blood work on me. Then roughly around 3 p.m. Uh, the cardiologist came in and uh, he he asked me what happened. I explained to him what happened. I said, listen, I got a question to ask you. Um, my watch, it monitors your sleep as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed that I get about four, four and a half to five and a half hours of sleep and it'll tell you about the breaks in between your sleep and it even goes as far as telling you that you stop breathing in your sleep. Does this have anything to do with what we're going through right now? And he said, 100%. So I told him I was, I was scared to say anything because 
I'm a driver for Mississauga Transit and I didn't want to lose my job, so I just kind of kept it to myself. And he said to me, which one would you rather lose, your job or your life? Wow. And then he said, you know what, don't worry. You caught this early. Had you not caught this early, um, you, would have had a, uh, you would have had a stroke or a blood clot to the brain and die. Wow, so your Apple Watch truly saved your life. 100%. So your doctor tells you all this. What happened? Did you have to have surgery or was there a course of treatment? At the same time when he was there um, telling me all of this information, he said, okay, so what we're going to do is tomorrow we're going to uh, sedate you, put a camera down your throat, take a picture of your heart from the inside. And um, if there's no blood clots, we're going to, uh, they call it car car cardiovert. Okay. Uh, what cardiovert is, is, they shock your heart and it gets your heart back into rhythm. And he said, if there is, if there is blood clots in your heart, we have to abort that idea and then book you for a surgery. So everything was all good. There was no blood clot. Thank goodness. So they shocked me and that was it. Smooth sailing ever yep. since. So did you have any heart problems leading up to this? No, I've never had any heart issues, but there is heart problems in the family. My mom has it. I believe two of her siblings and my grandmother had passed away. Yeah, so I explained to my mom that, you know, exactly what the doctor had said. I, I had told her that he had said that um, I could have had a stroke or a blood clot to the brain. And while I was saying this to her, I said, you know, it's funny, I'm saying blood clot <laughs> and you, you're not reacting in any way. <laughs> yeah, but she just gave me this. Now, mind you, this, tel this conversation is via WhatsApp. And she's in Jamaica. Okay. And she just gave me this look like, okay, Tor, it's all about context. And <laughs> you definitely haven't lost your sense of humor. You've so. got to laugh, right? Yes, yes. You've got to laugh. Mm -hmm. Did you get this Apple Watch knowing, like, with the idea of having this technology to track your sleep and your heart rate and stuff? Or so, is it just... When I was purchasing it, it was li literally they were releasing it. I got it on the release date and I was thinking to myself, is this just a novelty? Is, um, you know, do I really need this do, or is this a want? I do, I do long distance riding. So, you know, I do about 52 kilometers in a day. Oh, on your bicycle? Yeah, so okay. I want to track my calories and my heart rate. For sure, but you know, happy coincidence mm -hmm. that you were wearing it. It's a, an investment, yeah. A hundred percent. They're expensive though, right? Yes, it is. So I know you were talking to me about um, how you want to see like this technology more widely available. Yeah, I believe that the government should recognize this as, uh, as a medical device so that everybody has an opportunity of owning one. Their benefits can, can cover the cost. Like it's a medical expense. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously we're really happy that what transpired transpired with your watch. I mean, mm -hmm. Who, uh, who knows what would have happened if you weren't wearing it. Well, Tor, thank you so much for joining us on News Q News. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Hey, BG Squad. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. And listen to this. We have more great content for you, like this video right here and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.